Today, we're diving into a big upgrade for Galaxy Tab users that could come with the next version of Samsung's software, One UI 7.0, based on Android 15. If you're someone who uses a keyboard or trackpad with your Galaxy Tab, this update might be just what you need. Google has been pushing to improve Android for larger screens like foldables and tablets, and with One UI 7.0, these enhancements could take Samsung's tablets even closer to that desktop-like experience. Let's explore what's in store. Google has been focused on making Android better for large screen devices for quite some time now. With the release of Android 12 Liters, the company began optimizing its apps specifically for foldables and tablets. Now with Android 15, they are pushing things even further, especially when it comes to the experience of using keyboard and trackpad accessories. If you've ever wanted your Galaxy Tab to feel more like a laptop, this update will be a game changer for you. So what exactly is changing with One UI 7.0? Well, one of the most exciting new features is something called tap dragging. This is a new gesture introduced in Android 15 and it makes working with a keyboard and trackpad accessory much smoother. If you're already using a high-end Samsung Galaxy Tab with DeX mode and a first-party keyboard, you know it can feel a lot like using a desktop. But with a new tap dragging gesture, moving files and items around on your tablet is about to get even easier. The tap dragging feature allows you to tap an item and then drive it using your finger much like you would on a laptop. This is especially useful for things like dragging and dropping files between apps or moving images around in documents. While you can already do this by holding the trackpad, the tap dragging option simplifies the whole process, making it more intuitive and user-friendly. Let's break down how this feature works. First of all, you'll need a keyboard that has a gesture-enabled trackpad for the feature to function. Once that's set, you can tap an item and drag it with your finger without having to press and hold the trackpad as you currently do. This will be particularly useful for multitasking on your tablet, making it feel closer to using a traditional desktop or laptop. In fact, this new gesture isn't just for Android 15. Hubble has already introduced it in Android 14 QPR 3, which was released in June 2024. But with Android 15 and One UI 7.0, we're expecting it to become even more seamless, especially for Samsung Galaxy Tab users. If you thought the tap dragging gesture was cool, there's more. Google has already added several trackpad gestures in Android 14, and these are going to work even better with Android 15 and One UI 7.0. Here's a quick rundown. Three finger tap. This gesture takes you back to the previous screen. Three finger swipe up. A quick swipe up with three fingers takes you to your home screen. Three finger swipe up and hold. This opens your multitasking menu, allowing you to switch between apps. These gestures are already available in Android 14 and they will likely be optimized even further for One UI 7.0. With Samsung's Galaxy Tabs, which have great first-party keyboard accessories, these gestures will make multitasking and navigation a breeze a lot easier. With a new tap dragging gesture, enhanced three-finger gestures, and customizable mouse pointers, you'll have even more tools to get things done on your tablet. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on these One UI 7.0 improvements for Galaxy Tabs? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go 25 
complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilead smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices launched leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone, expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6 overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.